Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So this video is going to be all about dealing with palm salt and pepper hair or gray hair. I get the question from you guys, what do you do to keep the gray hair from turning yellow? Um, what do you do with gray hair to keep it from staining when you're shampooing and conditioning? So this video is going to be all about that and you guys get to see it live with me. So this is a live recording or live film. Um, if you are watching, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget tomorrow or tonight at midnight, which is September the 4th, starts our Labor Day weekend sale. Everything will be 40% off. This video is going to be geared towards my gray or silver and white babies. All right. So I'm going to show you guys how you deal with gray hair. And then we are going to get her molded and go from there. Okay. So come on in. So let me tilt the camera down. This is Jay. Jay, say hi. Hi. So I, um, if you guys don't remember, Jay was one of my clients from How to Fix Damaged Hair, mm. where all of the front of her hair was broken off. Like, it's so unbelievable that we are at this point where basically almost all of that hair is gone. Mm. And we've done another haircut and her hair has grown in. When she came to me, she did not have any salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Now she's full salt and pepper. So mm -hmm. that should tell you. And it's been, what, about a year? Almost a year? Yeah. It's been a year. It now. was September last year. September of last year. So we, we just hit a year almost. Oh, yeah. We're just hitting a year. And look at this head of hair. She has a full head of beautiful salt and pepper hair. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to tilt you guys down a little bit. There we go. Tilt this up. Okay. So whenever you are dealing with gray hair, salt and pepper hair, salt and pepper hair is one of those hair colors. It's almost like a white t-shirt. Mm. I'm on live, baby. I'm live. I'm on live. Yeah, it's probably okay. Sorry guys. So salt and pepper hair, it's like a white t-shirt. Anything that touches it, it picks up the color. Okay. It's going to soak up whatever color it is because it does not have any type of pigment in it. It is just a wide open, please stain me color hair. It's not something that you can get rid of. It's only something that you can change the color of. Okay. So whatever you're dealing with gray hair, you want to make sure that you have the right shampoos and conditioners to handle when you have situations. Yes, please. Thank mm -hmm. you. To handle when you have situations, you can hold I'll mm -hmm. let you know when I hold yeah. When you have salt and pepper hair. So, number one, you're going to need what we call a violet-based shampoo. The company that I um, use is Pravana. They have a shampoo called the Perfect Blonde. It is a violet color shampoo, okay? So, the shampoo itself is purple, mm -hmm. okay? This works in conjunction with the color wheel. I know a lot of you don't know the color wheel, but there are primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Across from those colors are the secondary colors, okay? The secondary colors are also considered the colors that will cancel out or cancel each other out whenever you have a situation like this. So when gray turns yellow, yellow on the color wheel is directly across from violet. Violet will cancel yellow. Same thing when you have green. Green is canceled by red because it's directly across from red on the color wheel. So whenever you have a situation where maybe your hair turned green because you're gray and you use a color that has a base of green mm -hmm. to cancel out green, you need something that has red in it. So typically you add a little bit of red hair color to your hair color. When your hair turns yellow, such as gray hair, you need to use a violet or purple colored shampoo mm -hmm. to cancel out the yellow. I know that was like a bunch of chemistry and everybody's sitting there confused, mm -hmm. but it's really, really easy. Violet cancels out yellow, red cancels out green. So that is how you will get rid of that mint or diminish that color off of that strand whenever it changes, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna shampoo her as we normally would, and then I'll show you how to use the violet shampoo. So for her shampoo today, we're going to use the silky shampoo and the silky conditioner. This is a lightweight formula. It is great for people who have fine textured hair. Maybe you're relaxed and fine textured or even natural and fine textured. It's not heavy, but it has a great conditioning action to it. And it has some amazing emollients in there. So it still helps to lightly moisturize and keep the hair nice and silky. Okay. So we're going to use our silky shampoo. 
which I just got these two from the warehouse, so I'm just going to open these two up, if it will let me. All right. And then our conditioner. So we're going to use two different shampoos today. Her hair seems fairly clean, so we're not going to do the detox shampoo. So we're going to do the silky conditioning shampoo, okay? And then we're also going to do the Pravana Perfect Blonde shampoo. And then we're going to finish her up with the silky conditioner, okay? So a little goes a long way with all of our products. So keep in mind, you don't need a lot of shampoo or conditioner for our products to work on the hair. I have a little product on my hair. I can yeah. tell. Yeah. So she just mm -hmm. told me she has product yeah. on her hair. Now I wish I did use the herbal detox to clean her, but we've already started with the silky, so this should suffice. But going forward, definitely make sure you're cleansing the hair and the scalp first before you start your treatment shampoos, okay? So that was my mistake just now. I underestimated what I thought I had. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we should now. be nice and sunny. Smells good. Thank you. Mm. Delicious. It smells delicious. Oh wow, yeah. They say your hair is beautiful. No, oh, thank you. It has been a long journey. Journey, yeah. That's why it's important to visit the right professional. Mm -hmm. I agree. You heard yeah. her guys. She said that's why it's important to visit the right professional. Count to my own heart, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is squeeze out the excess water because now we're going to use our violet-based shampoo. The violet-based shampoo is very violet, but you have to get a good quality shampoo. That's why I use the Pravana version. They do have others. They have Fanola, who makes the no yellow. You can use theirs too. Um, Pravana is my go-to for this because I love their perfect blonde. Now you're going to put it on the hair. Now there's a yin and a yang to using violet-based shampoo. If you leave it on too long... It will turn the hair violet, so mm -hmm. you have to watch it. You typically do not want to leave it on for more than about two to three minutes max, okay? So what I do is I put it on the hair, I lather it up to make sure that it gets all over the hair, and then I let it sit on the hair, okay? That is how violet-based shampoo works. If you rinse it off immediately, it will not work. Mm -hmm. So you want to let it sit and let those pigments start to work on the areas of the hair that you are having the trouble with. Now, sometimes you will do more than one shampoo. Sometimes you don't have to. In her case, she doesn't need more than one. At this point, I'm just doing it more for video purposes. She has just a little tinge of yellow, but it's not anything too drastic. So this amount of shampoo will actually suffice. So while it's sitting on the hair, you don't want to just let it sit for an hour thinking that you're canceling out yellow that way. You're mm. literally turning the hair violet, okay? This is a pigmented shampoo. That's how they work. They have pigments, okay? So you want to just make sure that you allow it to sit on the hair for the ample time and then rinse it off. It's okay to rinse it off and need to do it again. That's how this works. Sometimes you do need to do it again, okay? Sometimes you won't, you won't need to do it again at all. Now, I can tell you now, pigment-based shampoos do make the hair feel somewhat dry, mm. okay? It's something that you definitely have to condition after. So 
I want to show you guys what it looks like, okay? Can you guys see that purple? That's what it looks like. That's the color that's on her hair. Okay, now however long you let yours sit on, once you're done, you're going to go through and rinse thoroughly. You do want to make sure you get this out of the hair. It's not something that you want to leave behind, even if you're using the conditioner version of the shampoo, because they do come with conditioners too. You don't want to leave it on too long. All right, so now we're gonna use some of our silky conditioner. If you guys can tell her hair is not weighed down, it's not extremely heavy, that's the good thing about the silky line. It is great for those who have that fine textured hair. Um, for those of you that are natural or relaxed and you have a finer texture of hair, bomb. And it smells like fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it smells like fruit. Mm -hmm. So I like to make sure that I go through and comb through the hair. No longer tangled or anything of the mm. nature. Okay. And then we're going to turn the water to cold water. You always want to make sure you're rinsing with cool water. So we're going to squeeze out the excess water and then we're going to take a towel and just towel dry her. Okay. And then we'll take our silky leave-in conditioner. You always want to make sure you finish with the leave-in conditioner. So the silky kit is going to be on sale tonight as um will the other kits which is the bundle kit and you'll be able to get the shampoo conditioner and leave-in conditioner in one kit all right go ahead and sit up for me mm -hmm. and then you can sit in my chair so i'm going to tilt you guys up and you're going to come over with me and we are going to mold her use the elite silk wrap which this clip is getting on my last nerve okay there we go Just gonna comb this one and then we'll get some wrap strips because we're going to need them so I'm gonna get two one and two okay so we're gonna use two wrap strips the comb and the elite silky wrap foam okay so with any mold as i always say you always want to start by combing your mold in the direction that you're going to style okay that's very important it makes the mold easier all right took down from me my dear so we're going to take our foam, okay, apply it to the hair, you don't need a lot, you don't want to make the hair heavy, okay, take your comb, Okay. 
Okay, just like that. When I tell you our wrap phone is bomb. So then we're going to take our wrap strip. You want to open it up. And place it wherever you need it. And then our last one is going to seal it off and also cover the bottom here. If you want to put more up on the top you can I don't necessarily need it and then I just cut off the little end pieces all right and then she's gonna go under the dryer for about 30 30 to about 40 minutes to dry and then I'll go ahead and style her but in the meantime, you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for joining this live in regards to my um, gray hair babies, my silver hair babies, of how to take better care of your hair when it is turning yellow or green, which is something that is, it's not really complicated to deal with, but it seems like a very big task when it happens to you. So just keep in mind, if you are unsure or you can't remember what I'm talking about, the color wheel will help you. Let me find my other phone. And I'm going to show you guys what I mean by the color wheel so that we have some clarity. Actually, I have one here. Okay. So this is... I'll get that in a second. This is my Pravana book. Okay? So I'm going to bring you guys down for a second before I end the live. I want you guys to see what I'm talking about. So this is the color wheel. Okay? The color wheel looks just like this. You have your primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. And then your secondary colors, violet or purple, green or also ash, and then orange. Wherever these lie on the color wheel, it is going to tell you what color will cancel out the other color. So if you notice, I have yellow. If your gray turns yellow, directly across from it would be violet. This would be the color that will cancel out the yellow or get rid of the yellow tinge, okay? Same thing if your hair turned green. Red is directly across from it, so you would need a red base color or some red added to the color to cancel out the fact that you have that green. That is how it works when it comes on to any type of hair color situation. So this is really more specific to my gray hair babies, my silver hair babies, or even my solid white babies. This is something that you definitely need to know because this is something that you will deal with all the time. Your hair will change color with just the environment. It will change color with a shampoo that you use. It will change color with a hairspray that you use, an oil that you use. Putting a flat iron on there, it always has that tinge. So you definitely need to know what colors will cancel out which colors on the color wheel, okay? Same thing with blue and orange. Orange to us would be copper, okay? This would be copper. Typically when you're doing blonde or you're trying to blonde or lift your client that comes from a darker color, this is one of the colors that we typically try to cancel out when we're trying to get to blonde, which is that copper color. And in order for you to do that, you need something that has a blue base. All of this is this, it's so basic, it goes in the same circle. It will never change from company to company. It will never change from person to person. This is the actual diagram. This is the actual way that I'm showing you how this works and how to get rid of certain colors when it happens, okay? So I just gave you guys color correction. I just gave you guys $500 worth of information because guess what? You can go to a stylist and you tell the stylist, oh my gosh, my hair turned green. All of a sudden they turn into, oh, you need a color correction. So now you're paying $200 an hour to get this color corrected when you really only needed this knowledge that I just gave you to correct that color for free. So you're welcome. Mm -hmm. 
I just gave you five hundred dollars worth of information. I just saved you a whole trip. Okay, it's just that simple. Um, some lines that make some really good um, violet shampoos: Pravana, Fanola, Schwarzkopf. Um, and these are professional lines. Chi has one. I know a lot of you love shimmering lights. Shimmering lights is easiest to get. Shimmering lights works as well. Um, but I don't use shimmering lights, but it works as well. I'm honestly, Pravana Perfect Blonde is my favorite one. Um, and then for the blue version, whenever you're trying to cancel out copper, um, then I would use Fanola, which is the no, no orange. Fanola also has a no yellow, which is their violet base. And they also have a no orange, which is the blue base. Um, I don't have the violet one because I use the Pravana version. Pravana does not make a blue base. For the green, for a lot of you that want to know how to get rid of the green, I'm going to show you really, really quick. Oh, okay, so for those of you that use rinses or hair color, okay, let's say you do a rinse. And this company, I'm not going to say that their base is green, but I'm just using this as an example. Don't worry about the company. Let's say you go and put this jet black on your gray or white hair. And when you put it on, after you rinse it off, you notice that your hair is not black, it's not brown, it's Ninja Turtle green. Because your hair picked up the, dye, the primary pigment in the color, which is the base color. It picked up the base color. The base color was green. So instead of your hair turning brown or black, it turned Ninja Turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle green. Okay? It turned green. I'm going to stop right there. I need everybody to close their chat and thumbs up this live because I know right now, I am literally giving out multi thousands of dollars worth of information. So I need everybody to close their chat and I need everybody to thumbs up this live. I need everybody to thumbs up this live. Period. I need to be over 100 thumbs up because it's over 100 of you in here. So everybody that's getting this, this, these good deets, getting this $5,000 worth of information that I'm giving you, close your chat and hit the thumbs up button. If you've already done so, thank you. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Okay? So I'll wait. All right, there we go. Thank you guys for thumbsing me up, okay? Because it's like 200 of you on here, and I had like 60 thumbs up. That was not cool. That was not cool for the good coins that I'm giving you away for, for the 0 0.99. The negative 99 cents. Okay, cool. So let's say now once you put this color on and the hair has now turned into turtle green and you're sitting there looking in your mirror and you're like, what the fuck? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to show you guys what you do, okay? So I also, from the same company, got their red color. It's called Intense Red. This is just a red hair color, okay? This is just a red hair color. The easiest way to fix that problem is to take another bottle of whatever company you used, okay? So you're gonna take a full bottle of whatever company you used, and you're gonna take a quarter bottle of this red, and you are going to put a quarter of the red into this color, okay? When you put it into this color, you're gonna close the cap. This is better done in a bowl, guys, so you can make sure that it's thoroughly mixed. Shake that baby up or stir that baby up, okay? Stir, 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 shake, 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 you don't want to see the division of the two colors. You want them to really be emulsified and come together. Shake, 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 shake. The reason why I said a quarter of this to a full bottle of this is because red is a dominant color and it will make your color turn into a light brown. So you want to make sure that the dominant color is the, bull, the full bottle and the quarter of this is just to fill in that pigment that you need to correct. Okay? When you shake, 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 put it on the hair. Leave it on for whatever the processing time is, and that will in turn help cancel out that green and get you to the black or the brown that you were trying to get to. Color correction for free. You're welcome. You are so welcome. I just gave you another $5,000 worth of information. I just saved you a whole year of hairstylist questions. Just that easy. It's just that simple, you guys. I'm located in Florida. I'm in Apopka, Florida. Or Orlando. Same thing. Orlando is a block away. That is how you get rid of that green color, that green base. For those of you that you know you're turning green when you use the color, before you even do your color, go ahead and add your red to your color. That is going to remove that for you. All right? 
So I hope everybody got all the information that they needed from me. I will talk to everyone soon. Bye.